human settlements in space appear a far cry, but Bishop Cotton students are planning for it. These students have won a prestigious competition and are now all set to head to NASA. They have a plan to settle in the asteroid belt. Their plan is to grow food in space, generate living conditions and enable humans to live there. It is a small city in space. We had to specify the computer specifications uh, within the settlement um, and networking and uh, the features that we put into the computer and stuff like that. And, uh, afterwards we had um, mining. Uh, our, uh, the main uh, point of our settlement was mining. Now uh, we had uh, robots for mining. We had to sp uh, specify what they had, uh, how they would go about their work and, uh, and things like that. Science fiction has talked about space settlement, but humans have not succeeded so far. Yet the students are planning it. It is not easy to build a space city. The teachers are guiding them. We had to design a, 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 a torus where people can stay, like as though they stay on the surface of the earth. So all conditions required for people to stay, we had to do it. So a lot of research on uh, type of minerals uh, we have to use, then the physics, uh, the rotation, the angular uh, velocities, the speed, the dimensions uh, pertaining, all concepts related to physics, the uh, uh, hydraulics, the hydrostatics, the uh, fluid mechanics, all these things to be taken into consideration. And the students are excited about winning the Asian round and going to the USA. It is not every day that students plant space colonies, but then they say genius is 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration. Well, these young men have slogged hard for about three months. Will they win the NASA round? Once the Kalapa, News 9, Bengaluru.